I've got in the S shift mode, so it's most aggressive. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the all new BMW M340i. Before we get into this video, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the BMW of Pleasant Grove, Utah, for giving me some time with this 3 Series. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help whatsoever, just ask for Brendan. And on a side note, this is actually Brendan's new car, which is awesome because this is the first Red 3 Series that I've ever seen in my life. So, congrats to Brendan in advance. But, anyways, Link to the inventory in the description down below, like I said. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time purchase card, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged three liter inline six that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 23 around town and then 32 on the highway with power outputs being 382 horsepower and then 369 pound feet of torque. And this does have a mild hybrid system. So it's just a 48 volt system if you're wondering. Before I go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood here, you guys can see really prominent lines off to either side, and this does have the anniversary logo as well. And then coming down below, you guys can see there with the daytime running lights and the LED headlamps looks absolutely fantastic. And the grill is actually closed off right now. That's one of the cool things is having active grill shutters. We do have parking sensors on the front end and then all the trims kind of blacked out down below. And when you put it all together, this car is just downright sexy. Again, finally a BMW that's not black, 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 or white. Come around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 225, 40, 19 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you can see the wheel design, you got the silver there on the top and then the black below it. And I love how the spokes are thinner. It looks really good and then it lets you see that red brake caliper really well. And then taking a few steps back and looking at the full side view here, those wheels absolutely pop. And then again, the blacked out mirror caps and the trim around the windows. And then those sharp body lines really pop out with this red paint. So here's a key fob for this 3 Series. You guys can see nothing on the back, but we got the M colors there on the side. And then we have our unlock function. BMW is the lock function. And then that is to open up the trunk. And then when it comes to storage space, the 3 Series is actually very practical. I mean, look at this. It's, it's a big trunk. When you're all done, just plop it down. And then here are the taillights. I think these look so cool in the new 3 Series. And then, of course, we got our blacked out badges here. And then we got this low profile spoiler. And then again, that anniversary logo. And then you guys can see here, we've got parking sensors on the back end. And then look at those covers for the exhaust tips. This has an upgraded M exhaust. I'll show you guys on the window sticker. And then you guys will hear it before the driving portion, but it sounds killer. And putting it all together, I think that this is the 3 Series sweet spot with looks because it looks really sporty with everything that's been added to this, but it doesn't have like the massive front grill that an M3 has. Now, since we have such a bright exterior, the interior obviously is toned down quite a bit. So really nice black leather here. Look at the stitching that goes throughout and the padding down below. And then still have that normal BMW door handle. I love the speakers here for the Harman Kardon sound system. And there you go. And then look at the stitching here on the seats and you can see the leather all down below and then the contrast stitching on the side as well. Leg room here in the back is actually pretty solid. We got a little storage pocket right there. We've got some vents here in the center, climate controls, and then some USBs. And then headroom is actually also pretty good too. And look at this. Only one popped out. Got older armrest. Now here's the front door panel you guys can see again with all of the leather trim and the stitching and then down below. Got a door handle right there, memory seat functionality, window controls, mirror adjustments. The mirrors do power fold in and they've got blind spot monitoring. And then here's the front seat again with that white stitching. You can see the design there in the center. And then we've got all of our adjustments including the bolster adjustment and then M logo. Pedal layout here and another M logo there at the bottom of the dead pedal. And then we've got our light controls right here. And look at the ambient lighting. That's sick. Really nice leather steering wheel here. You've got the paddle shifters there on the back for the eight speed automatic. We've got some controls for like the radio and phone controls on one side. This does have adaptive cruise control as well as steering assist on the other side. Turn signal stock, windshield wiper stock.
Now the 233 series has the new hyper screen, which looks absolutely fantastic. I love how it's like vertical with the speed and the RPMs. I don't know, it kind of gives you like spaceship type vibes. Anyways, when we pop into Eco Pro mode, notice completely changes. And then we have like a comfort mode. And then of course we have our sport mode where it gets red and aggressive. Now within those drive modes, we actually have more drive modes. So like with Eco Pro, we have Eco Pro and then individual as well. And then with the sport mode, for example, you have sport plus and then individual and then the regular mode. So uh, drive modes within drive modes. Now in reverse, we have a really good camera system. So full 360 camera system and the trajectory lines do turn with the steering wheel. But my favorite party trick is this. Look at this, it's even color matched. So like it's a red car, except I don't know why the brake calipers are blue because these ones are red. Come on, BMW. No, I'm just giving a hard time. But then there's also like a car wash mode too. I don't know, really good camera system though. Now, as for the rest of the infotainment system, first off, you got a shortcut bar here on the side that lets you kind of access different menus. Um, overall response time with the screen is also fantastic. Um, I like how you have like just everything laid out here. So again, really easy to use and a big improvement over the previous screen. Last thing to mention is the climate system. So this does have a dual zone climate system and we do have heated seats here. You do have to control that function through the screen, but it's really easy because you just press climate menu and it pulls it right up. This trim down below that goes across on the dash. I think that looks nice. And then we got like our volume control. Yes, we still have a physical volume control and then tuner controls and then hazard lights and some stuff for the climate system. Got this cool looking trim piece that covers the wireless phone charging pad and then some cup holders. Now this is where things get interesting. So if you don't want to use the touchscreen function, you can use this dial to control everything within the touchscreen works really well. And then this is actually our shifter for the transmission. So yeah, it's like this little knob, which is pretty interesting. Stability control at the top. We got it for the camera system, parking sensors, stop, start here, and then a drive mode select, auto hold, and then your parking brake as well on that section. Center console here, which is, well, a center console, got a USB in it and then Really nice material use there on top. And then again, glove box is blind with felt. It's a regular glove box. Now up top here, we have controls for the sunroof. It's kind of like in between in terms of size, not a panoramic, but bigger than a normal sunroof. So here's our motor sticker for this three series. You guys can see the base price there, 56,850. And then this color, if you're wondering, is called Melbourne Red Metallic. Um, but anyways, warranty information, four year, 50,000 mile new vehicle warranty. And this has quite a few options added to it, like the M Sport Package Pro. But the one I want to talk about is that M Performance Exhaust. $2,500, and then you can see the total MSRP there, $70,205. Let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood and hopefully you can now see the heads up display. Both the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. Oh, it has cool arrow mirrors too. I should have mentioned that. But anyways, <laughs> visibility throughout the rest of the rear and let's set off. Oh, setting off here in this M340i. This is like the BMW sweet spot pretty much. And look at that, they got a bunch of seven series in. Um, but you know, it looks great. And we'll talk about the driving dynamics in a moment, but I, I think this is the one that most people kind of lust after when it comes to BMW's lineup. And let's kind of get up and start moving here a little bit. Something's too, I'm like, something's too close here. Let's move this, there we go. There we go. I'm like the steering wheel feels a little bit too close. I got, I got monkey arms, okay guys? I gotta have it a little bit farther away from me. Just in comfort mode, this thing handles so well. Oh my goodness. I, I'm such a fan of BMWs with their handling. And the thing is, it's also very comfortable. Like, yes, this handles like a sports car, but seat comfort's good. And the ride quality is also really solid. That exhaust is ridiculously loud. It makes the driving experience a lot more exciting. Love the steering too. It's got a nice like weighted feel to it. That's great. I just love how this kind of handles. Um, interior's really quiet too. It's been a minute since I've driven um, an M series car with the three series. I think the last time was, um, I think it was like almost, not, not quite a year ago, but it was, it was a little bit ago. And oh yeah, 
the hand like the thing is it's handling all these bumps so well the overall handling is just great and again this is the comfort setting you guys got to remember that and let's see how the suspension handles going up this oh yeah i mean you feel it more than you know like in something like an x7 or you know an x5 like you know bmw's larger vehicles but still really comfortable now we got in the sport plus setting this is where things get real exciting in just a moment okay, so i've got in the s shift mode so it's most aggressive <laughs> this thing rips this thing is ridiculously fast like the, the b58 this engine is just legendary i mean and the pops you get out the back it sounds so good I'm gonna pop it back into automatic mode yeah this thing's so fun and i love how this can do both like i can do like fun driving with this crazy accelerations all that that defender just pulled out like at the worst possible time <laughs> that defender looks cool though look at that thing it's like all decked out oh it's a trek edition that's why um but anyways as i was saying this can be like a really comfortable luxury daily but then on top of that, like this can be your fun weekend car because it's insanely quick and it's got really good driving dynamics. I mean, okay, like fully summing things up. <laughs> like, look at this thing. It's so fun. It is such a blast to drive. And like the handling, like this thing is just an absolute machine. So yes. This is the three series sweet spot because it's actually comfortable. The front end looks really good in my opinion. And it's quite like, it has everything going for it. Um, it, it can do everything. And so, yeah, I, I still think the M3 is a really cool car, but like, I think for most people, this is gonna be the route to go and get it in red because like, I mean, BMWs look great in black and white, but once you throw a crazy color on a BMW, it just, completely transforms the car. That's gonna sum things up with our video on this new M340i. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to the BMW here in Pleasant Grove. And of course to Brendan for giving me some time with his new car. So again, if you're gonna buy a new BMW, better be from Brendan because he doesn't charge over MSRP for any of the new product, even on M cars, even on stuff like this that sometimes goes for over stickers. So reach out to him. I'll see you guys.